Now to something impossible to argue about, and that's what a great catch cameraman Steve Hathaway made at the beach at Ruakaka yesterday. It was there near Whangarei that a killer whale was stranded. A call came through to Dr Ingrid Visser. You'll know Ingrid, she's the orca researcher, and Steve works with her. And, well, when he found out, he was down there like a shot, giving us a spectacular filming of an orca rescue underway. This from Jill Higgins. They're fighting the sea to save a life. Come on. You can do it, buddy. The helpless swimmer, a big brute of an orca, who will die if he rolls on his side. It seems he came a cropper trying to catch his lunch. Coming really fast, surfing really close and longer yep. surf line. So Wow. And, and so it must have been chasing a stingray. Chasing huh? something and it's gone, yep. gone, got gone off in the heart and got stuck. As orcas go, this one's a bit so of a handful. This is Putita. We can tell it's him because he's got notches in his fin. <laughs> uh, this is the second time he's been stranded. But now he wants to get back out to sea to where his family is waiting. That's his mum. And his brother just out there now. It must be hard seeing your son struggle, so there are a few kind words for mum. Then it's back to work. It's not easy trying to shift six tons of whale meat. In fact, it's exhausting for the rescuers and their whale. As a last resort, out comes a harness. It's a bit like having a baby. You get you out to your mummy soon, eh? You wait and wait and wait. Go. Go. Then summon up all your strength Go. for the big final push. As soon as he was in deep enough water, he knew that he could help, and he was just going nuts. So mum collects her boy after a day at the seaside they'll never forget. Wow, how cool is that? <laughs> Indeed, how cool is that? Joining me now from Fongaraya's orca researcher and orchestra leader, excuse the pun, Dr <laughs> Ingrid Visser. Ingrid, do you, you must get a buzz out of that every time. Oh, yeah, it's pretty amazing, Mark. I mean, even just watching the footage again after having been there, it's just, yeah, it's phenomenal. And this orc is a bit of a recidivist. He's done this before, is not he? <laughs> yeah, he has, um, but he's not the only one. Uh, there's actually quite a few orca that have been stuck on the beach a few times, and, you know, it's a very, very high-risk uh, type of prey that they're hunting for. They're in very shallow waters, and I guess you could call it an occupational hazard. They don't learn from their mistakes. Yeah, they learn all right, absolutely. I mean, you can see he's sitting there calmly. He's timing it for when he can go. You know, he's not panicking. He's not freaking out. And he certainly knew that we were trying to help him. So, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Now, he's got a name. I mean, you, I think you give all the orcas, you know, a name. What does it actually mean? Uh, Putita, well, he... I guess I have to give you a little bit of history on it. Uh, he, When he stranded last time and he was rescued and released back out, he then went from group to group to group and so every time I saw him he was with a, a different group of orca and at that stage I thought he was a girl so he ended up with a, the name Hussy uh, which in Spanish is Putita because he was a little bit loose. That's a delicate way of putting it I <laughs> guess. Hey look the other thing you'll be saw, we saw the mum and the brother hovering yeah. around there. Yeah. Did they, did they know what was going on? Oh, yeah, they definitely knew. His mum, Yin, actually came in, and I didn't see it. I wasn't there at that stage, but the locals who were watching it told me that she actually got stuck coming in trying to help him. And then a big wave came, and she managed to get back off again. So, yeah, they know what's going on. Um, they they realise that the animal is in trouble. You could actually hear Putita calling and calling and calling. You know, he was um, upset and waiting for somebody to come and help him and we were really lucky the locals came, Department of Conservation, the police, Coast Guard. We also, and, Ingrid, we also saw yeah. that huge tail thrashing around. Yeah. 
That's dangerous. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, he's a big boy. And, you know, um, if you consider that he can launch himself clean out of the water using just that tail, uh, you know, he's got a lot of power behind him. You have to be very, very careful. And, and Department of Conservation briefed everybody on what we were going to do before we got him out there. Well, it was a job well done. Thanks so much, Ingrid. And thanks for sharing Steve's Pleasure. pictures with us today. Ingrid yeah. Visser there. Now, if you're interested in the work Ingrid's doing and want to help in any way, visit our website for her details and the Orca Rescue Number. You can check out a few of Steve's photos as well. There'll be a link there.